Top 10 Facts About Earth Earth, our home planet, is a world like no other. The third planet from the Sun, Earth is the only place in the known universe confirmed to have life. With a radius of 3,959 miles, Earth is the fifth largest planet in our solar system and the only planet known for certain to have liquid water on its surface. Here are the list of the top 10 fact about planet Earth. Number 10. Thousands of Earths could fit in the Sun. The Sun, our star at the center of the solar system, is quite powerful. With a radius of more than 695,000 kilometers, 432,000 miles, it accounts for 99.86% of the mass of the entire solar system. For comparison, our planet has a radius of about 6,350 kilometers, 3,946 miles, and represents an imperceptibly small amount of the total mass of the solar system. But how many Earths can fit our giant sun? A quick Google search will tell you that number is around 1.3 million. But it turns out that filling a giant sphere with a series of small spheres is not so simple. The 1.3 million figure comes from dividing the volume of the sun, 1,412 by 1,018 cubic kilometers, by the volume of the Earth, 1,083 by 1,012 cubic kilometers which would be a reasonable sum if our planet were somehow melted and turned into liquid goop. However, to the disappointment of some, our planet is physically still very much intact. So, when we begin figuratively at a star 150 million kilometers, 93 million miles, away, we have to be realistic, by both running a coded simulation and testing these numbers against a real model. It was concluded that the total number of intact Earths, that could fit inside our sun would be 932,884. This is with a packing density of 72.03%, which is the space between the planets. Number 9. Earth used to look very different. In its earliest days, the Earth was unrecognizable from its modern form. At first, it was extremely hot, to the point that the planet was probably composed almost entirely of molten magma. Within a few hundred million years, the planet began to cool and oceans of liquid water formed. Heavy elements began to flow through the oceans and magma toward the center of the planet. When this happens, the Earth splits into layers, with the outermost layer being a solid blanket of relatively lighter material while denser molten material flows down the center. Scientists believe that Earth, like the other inner planets, reached its present state in three different stages. The first stage is called accretion, or planet formation, from existing particles in the solar system as they collide with each other to form increasingly larger objects. Scientists believe the next step involves the collision of a protoplanet with a very young planet Earth. It is thought to have occurred more than 4.5 billion years ago and may have led to the formation of the Earth's moon. The final stage of development saw the bombardment of the planet with asteroids. Earth's early atmosphere was probably composed of hydrogen and helium. As the planet changed and the crust began to form, volcanic eruptions frequently occurred. These volcanoes pumped water vapor, ammonia, and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere around Earth. Gradually, oceans began to form and eventually primitive life evolved in these oceans. Number 8. Days on Earth are getting longer. Atomic clocks, combined with precise astronomical measurements, have revealed that the length of a day has suddenly lengthened, and scientists don't know why. This has a serious impact not only on our time, but also on things like GPS and other technologies that govern our modern lives. In recent decades, the Earth's rotation around its axis, which determines the length of a day, has accelerated. This trend has shortened our time, in fact, in June 2022, we set the record for the shortest day in about half a century. But despite this record, since 2020, this steady acceleration has turned into a strange slowdown. The days are getting longer and the reason is still a mystery. Although our phone clocks say there are exactly 24 hours in a day, the actual time it takes for the Earth to complete one revolution varies very little. These changes happen over a period of millions of years almost instantaneously, even earthquakes and hurricanes can play a role. It turns out that a date is very rarely exactly the magic number of 86. 400 seconds. Number 7. Earth isn't perfectly round. 
Although the Earth appears round when viewed from space, it is actually more of an ellipse. However, even an ellipse does not fully describe the unique and ever-changing shape of the Earth. Our planet is chubby at the equator than at the poles by about 70,000 feet. This is due to the centrifugal force generated by the constant rotation of the Earth. Mountains nearly 30,000 feet high and ocean trenches plunging more than 36,000 feet, compared to sea level, further distort the shape of the Earth. The sea level itself is even irregular in shape. Small changes in the Earth's gravity field cause permanent hills and valleys on the ocean surface 300 feet above the ellipse. In addition, the shape of the Earth is constantly changing. Sometimes this change is cyclical, as is the case with daily tides that affect both the ocean and the Earth's crust. Sometimes the change is slow and steady, such as the drift of tectonic plates or the rebound of the Earth's crust after a thick layer of ice melts. And sometimes the planet's shape changes violently and suddenly during events such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or asteroid impacts. Number 6. Earth's atmosphere is made of gases. Try to look up way up the clouds you see in the sky the wind blowing in the trees or the flag in the schoolyard even the sun you feel on your face are all the result of the earth's atmosphere earth's atmosphere extends from the planet's surface to 10,000 kilometers 6214 miles above then the atmosphere merges into the space not all scientists agree on the actual upper limit of the atmosphere, but they can agree that most of the atmosphere lies close to the Earth's surface, at a distance of about 8 to 15 kilometers, 5 to 9 miles. But, although oxygen is necessary for most life forms on Earth, much of Earth's atmosphere is not made up of oxygen. Earth's atmosphere is made up of about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, and 0.1% other gases traces of carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, and neon are some of the other gases that make up the remaining 0.1%. Number 5. Earth rotates at around 1,000 miles an hour. Consider the movement of the Earth's surface with respect to the planet's center. The Earth rotates once every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4.09053 seconds, called the sidereal period, and its circumference is roughly 40,075 kilometers. Thus, the surface of the Earth at the equator moves at a speed of 460 meters per second, or roughly 1,000 miles per hour. Each of the motions described were given relative to some structure. Our motion about our Sun was described relative to our Sun, while the motion of our local group of galaxies was described as toward the Great Attractor. Number 4. Earth's surface is mainly water. Earth is a place of water. But how much water exists on, in and above our planet? About 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water, and the oceans contain about 96.5% of the total water on Earth. Water also exists in the air as water vapor, in rivers and lakes, in ice caps and glaciers, in the ground as soil moisture, and in aquifers, even in you and your dog. Water never stands still. Through the water cycle, our planet's water supply is constantly moving from place to place and from form to form. Everything would be pretty bland without the water cycle. Number 3. Earth is 4.54 billion years old. Earth is estimated to be 4.54 billion years old, more or less around 50 million years old. Scientists have scoured Earth for the oldest rocks radiometrically dated. In northwest Canada, they found rocks about 4.03 billion years old. Then, in Australia, they discovered minerals about 4.3 billion years old. Since celestial bodies in the solar system are thought to form at similar times, Scientists have analyzed lunar rocks collected during the moon landing and even meteorites that hit the Earth. These two materials are between 4.4 and 4.5 billion years old. Number 2. Earth is the only planet we have found contains life. Earth, our home, is the third planet from the Sun. As scientists continue to search for clues to life beyond Earth, our home planet remains the only place in the universe where we've ever identified living things. What makes the Earth habitable? It is just the right distance from the sun, shielded by a magnetic field from harmful solar radiation, kept warm by an insulating atmosphere, and contains chemicals suitable for life, including water and carbon. 
Number 1. Earth is the third closest planet to the Sun. Earth is the third planet from the Sun at a distance of about 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers. Dot. Earth is the largest of the four planets closest to the Sun, all of which are made of rock and metal. For a comparison between the size of the Earth and the Sun, if the Sun were as tall as a regular front door, the Earth would be the size of a nickel.